Hello my friends and welcome to Youth Potential, a channel dedicated to helping young people with mental health problems. I have two books available, 102 Distraction Techniques and Self-Harm to Self-Harmony. Both of these books are only available on Amazon. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hello my friend, Scott here representing Youth Potential. So today I'm going to be talking about toxic people. You've probably heard the term that someone's toxic or someone's in a toxic relationship with someone or someone has toxic habits. So toxic people are people that basically have a negative impact on you uh, mentally, physically and emotionally. Everyone has the capacity to be toxic, even me, you, everyone. OK, it's just human nature, unfortunately, that people have the capacity for this. So there are quite a lot of uh, toxic habits that you can look out for. Uh, a lot of them, in many cases, can be overlooked. Um, and it's quite often people that are really close to you uh, or people that are sort of in your life on a regular basis. So it could be someone that you work with. It could be someone in your class, it could be someone in your family, it could even be someone that has been your best friend for years, okay? And it's, it's your job to identify these toxic habits and it's your job also to determine whether you want to keep these people in your life or whether you don't. And I know this is hard and I've discussed this on the channel before, you really need to weigh up everything about the toxic people in your life okay they might be someone that you've known for years they might be someone in your family but if they're having a negative effect on you you know it's damaging to your well-being to your mind your emotions or you physically you need to consider do i need the, is it really a good idea to have this person in my life okay more on that in a minute but at first i'm just going to go and describe um the traits and the habits that uh, toxic people have that you need to identify. So the first thing is that toxic people constantly talk about themselves and never or very rarely take any interest in you whatsoever. So, you know, you, you might have that friend or whatever that constantly talks about themselves. They would tell you, I do this, I do that, I've done this, I've done that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Or they say, this happened to me, or this is brilliant about my life, blah, blah, blah. You know, they can gloat, they can boast. Um, and just, they never go, oh, how are you doing? Or what have you been up to? What do you think about that? You know, just people that are just me, 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 me. It's very toxic because they don't, they don't have... They, they, they don't they don't recognize you they don't appreciate you they don't sort of acknowledge anything about you and that's that's not good for you you know good relationships with people you know whether it's a, a loving relationship a friendship whatever there needs to be back and forth of you know um helping people supporting people acknowledging people um commending people you know there, need, there needs to be that uh, another toxic trait is that people will try to control you okay they i mean i mean there's a difference between influencing and advising and being controlling you know some people will expect you to do everything the way that they want it to be done there's no compromise there's no sort of um letting you do your own thing or you know there's nothing like that you know they 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 expect you to do everything that you tell them, okay? It's not good for you. You know, you've, there's got to be compromise. You've got to be willing to do things for other people and they've got to be willing to do things for you for it to be a healthy relationship. Another toxic trait is that they are never positive and always looking for problems in things. Always. You know, I get that some, you know, a lot of people watching this video struggle with mental illness and when you're suffering with depression, it's really easy to look at the problems of things but let's just say there's someone that isn't necessarily suffering from depression but they automatically point out the problems the negative side of everything okay you may need to help them get out of that that rut um 
But at the same time, if you're struggling with depression and they're struggling and you just bring each other down constantly, you need to really consider whether that's a good thing, you know. You don't want to be brought down by the person that's always pointing out, that's bad, I don't like that, that's not going to work, there's no point in doing that. Another toxic trait is people that thrive on drama. Now, I know it's quite, you know, it's human nature for us to be interested in things that are dramatic, okay? But in terms of, you know, the context of this is that people thrive on drama, you know, they like to cause problems for, for their own entertainment, okay? That's just not sensible. That's not good for anyone, okay? The more drama that you get dragged into, the more it's going to bring you down, and that is just not good for you, okay? So watch out for these people that are being spiteful, that are spreading rumours, that are gossiping. Keep, you know, keep that, keep that away. Um, another toxic trait is that people constantly want in your sympathy. Um, people who constantly play the victim. Like I know sometimes sympathy is due, but those people that try to always make you feel sorry for them. And then that kind of emotionally blackmails you and then you end up doing what they want to do because it's easier. That's, that's toxic. Um, another toxic trait is people that judge, criticise and gossip all the time. It's... Oh, God. Okay, there's having an opinion that's backed up by facts and experience. And then there's just plain old judging people. It's like, oof. I don't like them because of that. I don't like, you know, if someone can, you know, make statements and express an opinion, which they're entitled to, and be more uh, diplomatic, that's fine. But if you're just going to be someone who always just says, I don't like that, I don't like you, I don't like you, that's disgusting, I can't believe you do that, I can't believe this person does that, I can't believe this person would do that, have you seen what they're doing, that's disgusting, blah, 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 blah. No. Um, people are bullshit a lot, definitely toxic. You don't need to be around bullshitters. I've worked with enough bullshitters in my time um, to know how dangerous that can be. People lie about the experience they've had in getting a job, they've come to do the job and they can't pull it off because they're bullshitted. It's not, it's not good, okay? It's, it's not good for you to be around people that are just a bullshitter, okay? It's... I mean, if there's someone who bullshits, like, to make themselves sound better than they really are, you know, you'll have this expectation of them. And then when they can't deliver, it will, it will just piss you off. It's not, it's not good. And then you end up being a bullshitter. You're just constantly having to bullshit with each other. And eventually you can't keep up with your stories. Uh, people that pressure you to do things that you don't want to do, that is quite toxic. Um... You know, don't get me wrong, like, if I'm feeling low and one of my friends says, come on, come on, come out and do this, it'll be good for you and all that kind of thing. I know they're not being toxic, they're trying to they're trying to help me, okay, so in that context, it's good. But, you know, peer pressure, that kind of thing, people getting you to do things that are really, you know, deep down are wrong, that is very toxic. If you've got people around like that, that have been a real bad influence you can end up getting some serious trouble and developing some really bad habits that are just going to fuck you up, basically. Um, and another toxic trait is that the people that uh, think they're always right and never listen. They're not open to suggestion. They're not willing to listen to your side of the story. They're not willing to change their mind on things. You know, the idea of having an open mind is is a fantastic way of living you know you can adapt you can be flexible you can learn new things but the people that are just so close-minded they think they're always right everything they say is the last word on everything it's, it's not good you've got to be flexible willing to open up okay if you can think of any more toxic traits please leave them below guys i really appreciate you watching this video anyway all the best take care bye